Ukrainian military officials say Russian occupiers in eastern Ukraine are avoiding head-on combat with Bradley infantry fighting vehicles, even as they say they are fighting depleted Kiev forces. Newsweek reports, the Russians know what a Bradley is. They don't want to meet this machine head-on. I probably wouldn't want to either if I were in their place said the commander of the Ukrainian armored vehicles on the Christmas, a soldier from the 47th Mechanized Brigade. Ukraine's 47th Mechanized Brigade was deep in the fighting in eastern Ukraine. The brigade was the only known operator of Bradley infantry fighting vehicles, as well as American M1 Abrams main battle tanks. According to Pentagon documents, the U.S. has sent more than 300 Bradleys to Ukraine, as well as four support vehicles. In January 2024, the commander of the 47th Mechanized Brigade told Newsweek that Russian soldiers were afraid to launch operations when they know they're going to be facing Bradleys. Armored vehicles and tanks on both sides are wary of artillery fire from the other side. They must also keep a close eye on drone strikes. FPV drones can damage parts of a tank, including immobilizing the vehicle. Russian artillery is always working to find the Bradley, the military says. But the main problem is the kamikaze drones. There are more and more of them, and the enemy is very dynamically developing this area, the brigade noted. Currently, the fighters of the 47th Brigade are stationed west of Avdiivka. Fatigue is what you can see on the faces of our soldiers, the brigade noted. Russia has been slowly but steadily gaining territory in eastern Ukraine since the beginning of the year, claiming Avdiivka in February 2024 and moving west in the following months. Moscow's forces have inched closer to the strategic defense town of Pokrovsk, and Ukraine has repeatedly reported heavy clashes along that section of the front line. Russia opened a new front in northeastern Ukraine in the Kharkiv region in early May, and Ukraine said the new offensive was aimed at straining Kyiv's resources in the east. On Sunday, the Russian Defense Ministry said its forces had captured Novoselovka Pervaya, a village west of Avdiivka and southeast of Pokrovsk. The main donors of F-16 fighters for Ukraine are the Netherlands, Denmark, Norway and Belgium. Although the US distanced itself from the transfer of aircraft, it still took part of it. As Defense Express writes, experts noticed an interesting detail in the published video of the planes that were parked behind President Volodymyr Zelensky. They were different from the two that were armed and flying. In particular, the attention of Western experts was drawn to the antennas of the friend or foe system, which are located in front of the pilot's cabin. Such a sharp shape of the antennas was used in the first F-16A and the presence of a searchlight on the right side allows us to identify this aircraft as an F-16 ADF. This is a special modification of the fighter for air defense, which was transferred to the American National Guard. The second aircraft on static display also has a similar shape of antennas, but there is no searchlight, analysts note. In addition, the fighters did not have automatic 20mm cannons, technical inscriptions, etc. In this regard, it was assumed that at least these two F-16s were handed over by the Americans as decoys. At the same time, it is the American side that remains the only candidate for the role of donor because the aircraft in this version were exported, used to Jordan and Thailand and were also leased to Italy, the experts added. That is why their demonstration did not pose any risks to the aircraft that are going on combat duty. According to Defense Express, using F-16 fuselages as decoys is the most effective solution since the difference from the real ones is so insignificant that it is difficult to notice. A satellite, a drone or even an observer with binoculars cannot distinguish them from the real ones. Probably modern inflatable models of these aircraft will be added to them. It is worth understanding that for the enemy, the destruction of Ukrainian F-16s will be task number one. Therefore, any methods and tricks for disguising fighters, their bases and maintaining information silence are the key to their effective use, the analysts concluded.